and hello it's randy dodd i am at uh, city hall they have a uh, city council meeting going on today i came down here to join in and take a look because i am very somewhat active in the city let's say and uh, spirit of texas built from 1836 to the present day people like stephen f austin People like uh, General Sam Houston. People like my great-grandfather who fought at the Battle of San Jacinto. We came here for that reason. And we loved it. We could live our lives according to the rights which God has given us without encumbrance, without intrusion and we love but folks i will just tell you in my 36 years here i have seen a significant change in the way that abilene operates abilene has become a nanny city one which I would like to compare it with uh, Mayor Bloomberg of New York City. <laughs> but he's out. We have not had a change. Okay? So, I know individually, each one of you on this uh, council, I know you personally. I've talked to you often. Individually, the bureaucrats within our city staff are great people but if you go back in the history of the way bureaucracies work they have one function and that is to restrict the rights of the individual in their jurisdiction i don't want that to happen when I die, I want to be able to die and be buried in my backyard. But no, I can't do that because we have city regulations and all this other kind of stuff. Yeah. Grind me up and feed me to my cat or something like that. But what the circumstance we have now, folks, is nannification. And as my friend Steve Savage said, <laughs> you've, got, you've got better things to do with your time. The staff has better things to do with its time. Instead of searching for a problem that they can solve, why don't they spend it on the problems which we have? You see, we don't have a problem here. We've created one. My time is almost up, and I'll watch this. Let me read what a constitutional scholar has written. In the face of a government bureaucracy consumed with churning out laws, statutes, codes, and regulations that reinforce its power and value systems, and those of the police state and its corporate allies. We are all petty criminals, guilty of violating some minor law. In fact, the average American now unknowingly commits three felonies a day. And why are we lawbreakers? <laughs> because of you as a group, our city staff is a group. That's fine. So I will live the remaining part of my life. I will be buried in Buffalo Gap. And all I say is, God bless Abilene in the way it was 36 years ago. Amen.
So at this time, we're going to take about a five to eight minute break. Minute break. <coughs> we will come back.